Hello everybody, Skyrain here, back again with uh, some gaming news this time. Um, it is somewhat Diablo more related, of course, so this is where we're going to make our transitions here um, and correlations, but mostly it is some gaming news that obviously has unfortunately occurred uh, in the uh, industry recently, um, about a day ago now, I think. But wanted to cover this because just to kind of give you an idea, it may or may not impact Diablo Immortal. Probably not, but we'll get to it here. Let's go over what I'm talking about exactly here. Here we go. Uh, this is a Verge article here. It, there's there's a couple of them out there, so take your pick. Uh, Microsoft lays off 1900 Activision Blizzard and Xbox employees. Knew this was going to come eventually, obviously, once they did the merger. It's unfortunately just, you know, what it is and what, you know, how it goes. It's, you know, sadly the corporate quo fallout of any merger whenever they're in any company, actually. Usually they'll see, like, there's overlap of the same positions and then those, unfortunately, are the ones that are usually... The ones that are, you know, cut first, and the ones they go after, and et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's, it's a shame to see when it happens, but it's not an uncommon occurrence, you know. Don't make this out to be like, oh, so something uh, unfortunately shocking. It is terrible, still nonetheless, for everybody involved. But, of course, with the suits, they always look at that and be like, we, we, we gotta cut the fat. We don't need two of the same job position, so let's get rid of them. And it's like, here we are. Um, so yeah, what does this have to do with Diablo Immortal? Um, not too, too much as far as that goes. Um, it's probably only, since NetEase does the developing of Diablo Immortal, it's mostly probably gonna affect the already the already shit um, customer support, you know, section on, you know, Blizzard's end as far as whatever there was non-existent pretty much, as we all know, um, in conveying across to, you know, the rest of us here over in, uh, not in China. So that's, that might be best case scenario. I'm hoping, you know, the, you know, that's, going to be the fallout as far as what Diablo Immortal is concerned. There's other games obviously um, that they have under their title, was it Call of Duties and such and Overwatch and all that kind of thing. Those might be impacted a little bit more um, but we'll have to see and you know how this all continues to play out. It's not only just the merger reason but it's also the end of you know the fiscal year at the end of January for you know taxes and all that kind of thing. So that's also another reason that a lot of these companies across the board, not just this one in gaming, but everybody, you know, you'll see like layoffs left and right, unfortunately, around this time. That's just how they always like to do it. It sucks. It sucks for everybody. I know. Been there before. Um, it's just stupid, cor you know, corporate practices, and that's just what they do. That's just what they do. This is why I'm not really a fan of a lot of corporate aspects and and to give you another idea because of those recent layoffs here this is a really sad story um they canceled there was a survival game that they had in the works for six years and it was praised highly by everybody um yeah if nobody knows about this yet i'm bringing this up this is why i'm doing this video too um and this is uh, a PC Gamer article, so you can look it up for yourselves. Um, but yeah, this is uh, because they got let go. And the worst part for these guys, the worst part for these guys and this development team is they weren't able to finish this project because they got let go. So they have nothing to show for it. Six years of nothing to show for it. Because it wasn't it, it wasn't it wasn't shipped, so therefore it doesn't count towards their resumes, like it says here. And let's get to the uh, yeah the, the worst part about this is at the very, very bottom here. Um, the 
Survival's game cancellation are, uh, uh, and layoffs are part of the 1900 job cuts across Activision, Blizzard, and Microsoft gaming companies. Uh, Bloomberg and whatever. Um, ideas. Oops. The former uh, Blizzard Survival game developers now face an aspect of working in games that, you know, this person is, in this article says, uh, I've heard a number of developers lament before. On top of the threat of being laid off, they face the threat of being laid off before they've been able to release anything. Yeah, so they got laid off while working on this for six years total, and they got nothing to show for it. And then a requirement often found in game developing job in, uh, listings is some shipped games, meaning games that have been released. The current Blizzard job listing for a lead gameplay engineer requires at least one shipped title, for example. Not only do the Blizzard Survival game developers who have been let go this week get no shipped game for their resumes, they can't even talk openly about what they were making. So yeah, they can't even talk about it. So it's just been just completely, you know, put in the down the toilet. Six years. This is the impact that uh, the merger of Microsoft has on, you know, uh, some of these people and it's very sad it's very sad to see it's very unfortunate uh again though the whole point of this is you know you know being anywhere remotely related to diablo mortal is you know is there going to be any impact probably barely at all any for um diablo mortal is concerned but as far as like you know just seeing the aspects of other things across the gaming industry and corporate dealings Whenever it comes to mergers, end of the fiscal year, it's tragic. It's unfortunate. It does need to be. I think. I don't know. I don't want to say. You know, obviously, it's you know in the in the public eye and it's out there. But if you didn't know about that um, survival game that was in the works, they you know they were praised highly by um, everybody across within the the teams. They actually had been given more people to work on it. And the, the yeah, its team doubled in size in 2022, and then there was plans to grow even more in 2023. And now, after six years of total development time and positive responses to the project from current and former and former Blizzard employees, the game has been canceled by Microsoft, and its developers are out of jobs. So yeah, uh, we got rid of Bobby Kotek. That was a plus in all senses of across the you know across the board but now we get i guess the lesser of the two evils in a sense with microsoft coming in i don't know uh take it for what you will uh i just wanted to you know kind of bring that to some people's attentions for anybody that may not know it was it was fairly relevant to this because obviously it is part of the umbrella that is over Diablo Immortal and all the uh, the Blizzard games and now that uh, the merger has happened and the fiscal year and Fallout, etc, etc. Always a shame to see, always a shame to have those things happen, but they do. Um, just uh, sadly enough, like clockwork, you can almost guarantee this stuff and just follow it down to the wire. Um, but yeah, anyway thought you guys would like a little bit of uh, kind of an insight to um, some of the news that recently happened and uh, just the unfortunateness of it all. Um, I'll be back again, obviously, continuing on with another video here as per usual. But as far as the real world girls, <laughs> Glenna, goes, stay safe out there as always, everybody. Take care of yourselves and each other, of course, in this world on fire. Until next time. See ya.